Hey guys, Penguins Recordings here, and today I'm going to showcase or guide you on how to install Shogun 2 in Play on Linux. Alright, so first things first, you will need Play on Linux, at least version 4.1.8. I'm using the latest, which is 4.2 here. Alright, the second thing you will need is the Windows version of Steam, which you can get from the Steam website. So I go here. Now the first one it will give me is the Linux one. We don't want that because we're going to be trying a Windows game in Wine. So we click Windows. Alright, I'm going to save file. Can put this down. Okay, here's my file. Let's see if I can bring it out here. Yep, okay. So I have my Steam installed at MSI here. This is the Windows version of Steam. Now I'm going to click Install inside Play on Linux. All right. Install a non-listed program at the bottom left here. Give it a couple of seconds. Next. Okay. Install a program in a new virtual drive. All right. Click next. Now I'm going to name this Shogun 2. You can name it anything you want, but be descriptive so you know what it means. Click next. Now, use another version of Wine. We want to do that. And I'm also going to configure Wine. Now, this configure Wine part is optional. It's just what I like to do. So I click Next. Here, I am going to choose the latest Wine version, which is 1.5.28. Now, if you don't have that version in there, you can go inside Play on Linux, click Tools, and then click Manage Wine Versions. All right. So on the left here will be all the wine versions that you can install. You see there's a whole bunch of them here. Now you want the latest, which is 1.5.28. So you select the one on the left, you click this button in the middle, and it will appear on the right. All right. It will install for a couple of seconds, and then it will appear on the right. So if it's on the right, that means you have it installed. All right. Okay, we can click close that. Continu continuing with the installation. 1.5.28, which is the latest. Always try to use the latest Wine version first. Click Next. 32-bit Windows installation. Choose this. Even if your system is 64-bit like mine is, a Wine version is separate, okay? So 32-bit is fine. No matter what version of your OS is, we want 32-bit Wine. Okay, click Next. Starting up. Now we're going to configure Wine. Basically what I'm going to do in configuring Wine is that I'm going to set it into windowed mode. It's always safer to do that so in case it crashes or anything like that your whole desktop isn't affected. Alright. Now I'm going to go on the graphics. Emulate a virtual desktop. You can set the resolution to whatever you want, small or large. I'm just going to set it to about a medium size for my screen and I'm going to click apply. Make sure your Windows version is XP. Click OK. Now we're going to browse to the desktop. We want to get the Steam installer. Steam installed at one MSI here. Okay. Click open. All right. Click next. Okay. So the first part will be installing Steam and then the second part will be installing Shogun to inside Steam. Click Next. I accept license agreement. Click Next. Cable Fiber for me. Click Next. English. Choose whatever language you are that you prefer. Click Next again. Click Next. Uh, click Install. Click Finish. You're done with the Steam installation. Now it's going to update. Now if this part takes too long, then I will just simply skip ahead. We'll see. It usually does take quite a while. Okay, it seems to be moving fast. Now, the last time I tried this, Shogun 2 ran perfectly. I, did, I didn't have to install anything extra. But since this is the new Wine version, I will also be trying it out. If it doesn't work, I will hopefully show you how to make it work. It should, however, just work right off the bat after you install it in Steam. Give this some time to update. 
once it's finished updating you will notice that steam the steam itself the application will have no text I will show you how to fix that as well after this I will skip ahead for this part alright so it's finished updating itself now it's installing itself okay that's relatively quick This can take a while for some of you, especially if you have slow internet connection, so you may have to be patient. Alright, so it's finished updating and installing. So as you can see, there's no text anywhere. That's okay, we'll fix that in a moment. So you click the X at the top right, we want to close it. So we finished installing Steam inside Play on Linux. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose the Steam.exe and we're going to make a shortcut for it. So you click Next. Now you can make the shortcut just Steam or for my personal knowledge I'm going to make it Shogun 2. So I know why I have that there. I have multiple versions. Okay, I don't want to make another shortcut. That's enough for me. Click Next and it's done so there you have it uh, this error as usual don't worry about this too much steam shogun 2 is here so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click configure this is how we're going to fix that text problem we saw just now you can put a dash no d right I believe I have to put another dash there so dash no dash d right if I'm not wrong let me just double check with my other steam versions dash no dash d right okay so we're gonna run this once more this time it will still start up in windows mode you can always change that later by configuring wine but now we have text alright so I already have an account so I'm going to log into an existing account alright I'm going to click login. Now it's going to ask me for this code which will be in your email address. It will send it to your email address. You should know how to do this already. This is not something that I should be teaching you. Click next. You go to your email and you get the code there. So I'm going to skip this part of the video while I do it for myself. Alright, so I have my code here now. I've taken it from my email. I'm going to click next. Let it do its working part. So basically the first part I've just taught you just now was how to install Steam in Play on Linux. There's of course the easier version where you let Play on Linux install Steam for you, but my method allows you to use the latest version of Wine, which hopefully also means all the bug fixes and any improvements that they may have. So it may take a moment for Steam to start up. Alright, so I've logged in to Steam. You can see it's working here. It's a bit jittery, but that's normal because it's inside the Wine window. Alright, so I'm going to head over to the library. You see nothing is installed yet. And the one that we want to install is Total War Shogun 2. For many of you, you're going to click the Install button. You're going to go click Next, and you're going to continue this installation. For me, that will take too long to download the entire thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Steam. I'm going to back up. I already have a backup of Shogun 2. So I'm going to restore a previous backup. Remember, for many of you, you'll just simply click the install button and wait for it to install. I'm going to click next. Now I'm going to browse to my other hard drive, which is first we go to Z, then we go to media. You do not have to follow this part. This is because this is how my computer is. I have multiple hard drives and my backup is located elsewhere okay my media drive is here steam backup 2 total war shogun 2 okay I click that click select it detects my total war shogun 2 click next 23 gigabytes pretty large click next I agree I always agree click next again and now I let it install 
So this part can take quite a while. I will skip ahead when it's near done. I will run the game, hopefully to show you that it's working. All right, so my installation has finished. So I click finish here. Okay, let's actually test the game. Let's see if it works or not the first time around. Now you're going to want to click on the first one, Play Total War, Shogun 2. All the rest are just benchmarks. So far when I tried the benchmarks, they don't seem to work. But the game itself works. So it has some more installations. Let it do these things. These are necessary for it to work. 1 of 14 is quite a while. Okay, there's one done. Two done. Three done. Four, five, okay. It's gonna ask you to install Flash. Click yes, you do have to agree to this. Click install. All right, done. Did it just go to the back? Okay, it started. Didn't expect it to start so soon. So the first part of the game, which is this screen right here, this can take quite a while to load, 20, 30 seconds. I really don't know why. It's always like this, even on Windows when I try it. But as you can see, I didn't do anything special to get this working. I just installed Steam in Wine, and then installed Total War Shogun 2 inside Steam. So after that, it works great. There's no need to install DirectX, there is no need to install anything else so far. You may get a peculiar text at the bottom of the screen that says that the game can't verify if it's original or not, but that's okay. It doesn't stop you from playing. You just click escape when that happens. Oh, I knew I forgot to do something. I didn't, under my screen recorder, I did not choose to record sound. Sorry about that. Wait, let me see if I can get my headphones near the microphone so you can hear it. So there you have it. The game does work. I'm just going to skip this by clicking escape. You got to agree to their EULA and there you have it. The game will work just like that. So I hope this video helps you guys to get the game set up. It's pretty straightforward. And thanks for watching.